Hi, my name is the Reverend Meg Harvey and I'm the Vicar of the Parish of Mount Herbert, Christchurch, New Zealand. If you can hear jangling in the background, that the cat's collar. I had to sit and wait to start recording until she stopped slapping up her water right next to me where I'm filming the joys of our little furry loved ones. Welcome to Prayers and Pyjamas. Welcome to our little community out there who uh, view, who come together and view our, um, our night prayers, uh, but uh, with a little bit added in here or there. Uh, the service uh, is available in a PDF form on our website, uh, mountherbertparish.wordpress.com. Uh, but feel free to just uh, lie back and let the words of Scripture wash over you, because everything, not ev almost everything we say in this in these prayers and pajamas, uh, other than my little add-ins, is Scripture. It is it is from from God's heart. Uh, so um, so enjoy. Help, I hope it helps you to um, bring your day to a close, to settle your heart and mind before you uh, retire for the night, as they would say, and um, brings you peace and beautiful dreams. So let's begin. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labour that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. Etafano. Our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, thank you for all that is good. Thank you. This day God has blessed us in so many ways. And some of them we will have seen, and some of them we won't. And so it is always good to give thanks to God, to thank him for what is good in our world, because there's a lot of bad in our world, there's a lot of darkness, there's a lot to be anxious about, but because of God there is so much goodness too, and we need to be aware of that, we need to hold on to that. And we need to be thankful for it. So thank you for all that is good. For our creation and humanity. For the stewardship you have given us of this planet Earth. For the gifts of life and one another. For your love, which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion my guide upon the way, taku fetu marama et po, my bright evening star. We consider our unfaithfulness to God that has been through this day. We have wounded your love, O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home, Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be, is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. 
Living flame burn into us. Cleansing wind blow through us. Fountain of water well up within us. That we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, Alleluia. Psalm for Wednesday night is, as usual, the beloved Psalm 23. Dear God, you sustain me and feed me. Like a shepherd, you guide me. You lead me to an oasis of green to lie down by restful waters. You refresh my soul for the journey and guide me along trusted roads. The God of justice is your name. Though I must enter the darkness of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before my very eyes in the presence of those who trouble me. You anoint my head with oil and fill my cup to the brim. Your loving kindness and mercy will meet me every day of my life and I will dwell in the house of my God forever. And our scripture today comes from Matthew chapter 6. And I think I've said recently um, in these prayers, uh, it's, it's very apt for the times that we are in. Here in New Zealand, our Prime Minister, who of whom I'm quite proud, Jacinta Ardern, uh, she went hard and fast with the pandemic. And we were put into very stringent restrictions very quickly uh, that lasted for quite a long time. Consequently, we are able to be coming out of them um, much earlier than the rest of the world. So um, whilst here in New Zealand we are beginning to get a sense of freedom again and um, maybe less worry about the pandemic, um, I, we are so aware that the rest of the world is still struggling and I, I can't conceive of the numbers, the numbers that I hear on the news of, of, the, of the cases of those who have died, of those who have lost their jobs. I just, it's beyond my comprehension. Um, and so I think that this, this um, passage from Matthew it's really important for us all to remember, particularly at this time. Do not ask anxiously, what are we to eat? What are we to drink? What should we wear? The whole world runs after such things. Set your heart and mind on God's commonwealth first, and all the rest shall follow. So do not be anxious about tomorrow. Today has enough problems of its own. Tomorrow can look after itself. Perhaps easier said than done. Into our prayers. Into your hands, O oh God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O oh God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and to sleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace, for I have seen with my own eyes the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God. 
sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in your peace. Kiri eleison, Christi eleison, Kiri eleison. We come to the Lord's Prayer, which we say in Te Reo, which is the language of the native Māori people of New Zealand. And you will have heard uh, smatterings, smatterings, is that a word, of it earlier, and you'll hear a little bit further too. But please feel free to say the Lord's Prayer in the language you are most comfortable with. E to mato matoa e tarangi, ki e tapo to ingoa, ki e tai mai to ranga tera tanga, ki e me tia to e pai ai ki runga ki te penoa, ki e rihiano ki to tarangi. Ho mai ki e mato aene he taro ma mato mo tenera, mura o mato hara, me mato hoki e mirene e o te hanga e harana ki e mato. O huki mato e kawea kia whakawaia, e ngāri whakaorongia mato e te kino. Nō hoki te rangatera tanga, te kaha, me te kororia. Ake, 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 amene. I will lie down in peace and take my rest. For it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Tato ka faka pai, ite kai hanga, ite kai faka marie, ite kai homa, ite ora. Tato ka faka pai, ka faka nui, iti atua moake tanoatu. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all for ever. Tonight we pray prayer three. Be present, Spirit of God, within us, your dwelling place and home, that this house may be one where all darkness is penetrated by your light, all troubles calmed by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. And the sentence for tonight. O oh God, strengthen your servants with your heavenly grace, that we may continue yours forever, and daily increase in your Holy Spirit more and more, until we come to your everlasting kingdom. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for prayers and pajamas. It is my prayer and my hope that we grow as a community. Um, I'm new to YouTube. I don't actually know how to check comments, <laughs> but please leave comments, leave questions, um, and if I can, I'll answer them. Uh, I'm praying that this will be for people out there in the world, not just New Zealand, but in the world, maybe a first step towards filling a spiritual void, finding something new, that warms your heart, that gives you a sense of completion. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for listening. Stay safe, stay well, in the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you those you love and those you struggle to love. 
this day and evermore. Amen. Kakite.